Fun and guys, how's all doing? Well, just have a quick video before I go out, hit the gym, get back to the old fitness and that. Um, as I say, the Newcastle, Newcastle, what an experience that was. Um, as I've been watching on the news fair came back about all the immigration um, gone on in Newcastle, the city centre is bad. It's really bad. You know what I mean, people? It's it is, it's really bad. Um, me and Kirsty, I say, walk through the shopping centre, and at the start, in the way in, um, two two men kind of bumped into Kirsty, and it was here when he used his shoulder, bumped in. You know what I mean? And because so it was just a genuine mistake. You know what I mean? But as I say, on the way out to go to the car, um, Kirsty had noticed the two same gentlemen kind of walking in front of us. And so Kirsty's been like, oh, darn, there's the there's two guys that bumped into me at the start. So, nah, me, it ain't nothing. And the next minute, the guy had done it. I turned about and walked back towards us. So I thought he was going back to say something. You know what I mean? And the next minute, he'd done it again. But when he's done, when he bumped into Kirsty, he's had his hand like that. You know what I mean? So it was like, Ah, you know what I mean? So I went and said to him, How? Come here. What are you younger then? And I don't speak English, I don't speak. But while I'm saying this, he's walking over, his other friend, laughing. And so I started shouting to him, And how are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Bumping in. You knew what you did there. And ah, blah, 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 blah. And next bit, so the security guards come up. Um, that's how I've got the bruise there. Yeah. And the arm there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that's where I got grabbed. Um, security guard, like, grabbed me by the arm, blah, blah, blah. Put you dead. And I was like, what do you mean about I'm dead? I goes, listen, I goes, that guy there, we pal, done the exact same thing. I was going to get your CCTV or get your, your, your radio and go on and get, what, them to check it. And so I explained the situation to him. I was like, listen, we're walking, coming in here. I goes, somebody bumped into my partner. I goes, and that was it, and that's what I'm on there. I go, but on the way out to the car park, Kirsty's noticed these two gentlemen and went, down there's the, there's the two people there. And no, no, nothing said. I go, you were standing watching us walking in. And he was like, yeah. He said, but you, you started shouting. I go, aye. I go, so did you know see what he went and done? I go, he bumped into Kirsty again, but he had his hand. So it was like touching, you know what I mean? Aye. Uh, uh, see, in the end of the day, pal, we got a lot, we got a lot of that doing here. I mean, it's, it's just... We, we, we report it to the police and they don't do nothing about it. And I was like, you for real? I was you for real? He was like, I mean, he says, if you go into the square where the big, is it Prime Minister or something like that, the big statue that i done the last video, he says, you'll see them all sitting, congregating there. He says, they either date to young females or male, eh, uh, older females. He says, it's, we've got a high, 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 high problem way that can I carry on within Newcastle. And I was like, well, mate, this isn't going. You know what I mean? I goes, end of the day, man. I mean, so it was going for the post now. And I was like, I need to phone the post. You know what I mean? I goes, because end of the day, I goes, you're sitting tell me the post will not do nothing about it. And he was like, he says, no, no, no. He says, because, but they, they, they just, we don't speak English, we don't speak English. So, Kirsty, I said, Kirsty, what do you want to do? And she was like, I said, just leave it, man, eh? and we'll go up now. Eh? But that's no, you know, the, the point I'm making this video, right, is. People keep saying about the immigration, right? That where's the woman? Where's the child? And it's all men, it's all men, and it's all men. Now I can see you here, they're, they're coming for you. Now, when I was walking about Newcastle City Centre, and I've got that one video, I've still got two other videos to put up, it was just groups of maybe six, seven men. You know what I mean? And walking about freely, taking pictures, videos, laughing and joking, blah, blah, blah. Right? But I thought if a group of more than five people were walking about, it got classed as a gang. So the police stepped in and disrupted it. And, you, you know what I mean? And kind of separated them all, kind of, so they weren't walking about in a gang. I thought that was a law and a rule now. And so how are all these Muslim men Right, Chinese men, Polish men, Albanian men, 
any kind of groups. How are they getting away with it? I mean, how are they getting away with it? Now, the Poles know that this is going on, right? And, as I say, they're not doing nothing about it. It was like when I went to Blythe, right, to speak to a couple of pals in, in Blythe, I said to them, where's all the CCTV camera? They were like, damn, they took them down. I goes, what do you mean they took them down? And he was like, he took them down. And I was like, what for? He was like, he says, because at the end of the day, you go down there shoplifting, right, because they were cheap, it was bad with crack, um, heroin, and that's it really good. But see, Jazzy Pan and stuff like that, oh, no, 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 pre-gabbling and that. No, 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 no. I mean, the dealers don't stand for it. Which I thought was, you know, you allow crack and heroin to get sell, but you know, allow people to sell like Valium or fucking P. Gavin. The doctors don't need to supply them. I mean, you, do, you can't get doctors down there, but we'll give you a prescription of Dazepan. I was like, why no? He was like, it's cause you all the deaths. And I was like, well, that's understandable. That is understandable. And, um, and it's a good thing to be honest with you that dealers are not letting this happen. In front of their town, I don't do drug dealing or whatever, but as I say, I know where they're coming from. Because there were people dying, all their friends had died. That's what they, they were saying to me. I was sitting in the pubs to talk to them. They were telling me, mate, the amount of people I've lost through the Valium, he says, is unreal. He says, it's not the heroin or anything like that. He says, it's the Diazepan. He says, I've lost all my pals, half my family. There's this and this and this and they're all sitting telling me the individual stories. So I know they're not lying. You know? But then I said to them, so why did the CCTV get taken? See the cameras, they video it in. And he was like, because they turned out and said it was a waste of their time. I was like, what? He was like, he says, like a shoplifter can get into like, Morrison's Tesco or whatever and steal up to £200 worth of items before the police would even consider to come out because they've got that much other corruption and crimes to deal with. So shoplifting and all that gets flung to see like minor crimes and all that kind of stuff like that. They don't worry about that. And I was like, that's mental. I goes up in Scotland, I goes, you, you, I goes, oh, yeah, go, you have the two years for that. He was like, he says, uh, said, well, honestly, it's, and I was like, this is unreal, man. This place is unreal. And, but I noticed, like, down that area, eh, North Shields, it was all kind of pubs named after, like, police stations and policemen. It was like the constable, the masons in, and um, a few other kind of, Pubs like that, you know what I mean? Uh, to have the, const the, the constable and, and as I say, the masons and uh, ma mainly all the pub pubs were called masons, you know what I mean? And as I say, in relation to the, the, like, the police force, and I know Blythe is uh, an old kind of, what do you call it? Fishing village, uh, but it's got a right heritage, a uh, like British Armed Forces and memorial plaques and stuff like that. You've seen it in the videos. And so they're well dedicated to that kind of side of it. But it was just the way things are getting done and down there compared to Scotland is unreal. Unreal. And I open my eyes up. So I'm looking forward to going to Liverpool. So I want to get to Liverpool, then Manchester, then whatever. You know what I mean? Then I'll come back up to Glasgow, Embra, you know what I mean? Um, and go in and see. But it's just, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get to see the difference in laws, I mean, between Scottish law and English law and what they do. You know what I mean? And down in Newcastle, that's just a free for all. That is just a free for all. When I was there for that week and a half there, every day there were people getting chased by the police, they were surrounded by police, and it was mental, as I say. I've got more videos and I will put them up. But please join me live um, in the next couple of days. I'll put a notification up. You know what I mean? Because I might know what the carry on is with this carry on in Newcastle with the big major crime families. And you now, as I say, when I went to leave Newcastle um, in life after I with my pals and that, eh, there was a Kia Sportage. I, a gunmetal grey spear, uh, a Kia Sportage, and I do believe that it may be one of the local firms, I mean, was checking to see who I was, because I was walking about the town, as you see on the videos, openly, and I was talking to a couple of people and other people, and they did say to me, you know what I mean, oh, this, you want to know who you are, and what you're doing, and what you're up to, and all that, eh? you know what I mean, and I was like, I'm just doing, talking to my pal and that, and getting on with him, how, because I gave him a couple of pounds, 
know what I mean? But anyway, stay safe, stay blessed, and as I say, have a good day, gloves up, drugs down, and yeah, I'm going to talk about me, 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 me about about uh, Newcastle, because that was crazy, that was crazy, and why they're getting away with it is just, I don't know, but all the, what you see on YouTube and now, you know what I mean, look, like, the, the beefs and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean, well, I was ask, also asking about that day, you know what I mean, about this family, that family, that, and it's just to see what, what's what, and what, you know what I mean, because I'm into all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean, but um, it's very interesting, very, very interesting, you know what I mean, because there's always two sides to a story, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you can't just sit there and blame one side and, as I say, no blame the other, you know what I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about, then, it just doesn't work that way, you know what I mean, if you come into the, the, like the podcast and, and you want to kind of see or speak to people, you've got to listen to both sides of the story, you don't take the one side and go, all right, well, I'm stuck to him, no, no, no. I'm the leader, I'll talk to who I want to and what groups I want to and who I want to talk to. And that's who I'll talk to, you know what I mean? Um, and if people don't like it, then tough. You know what I mean? They can make videos about me, they can do this, do that, what they want. I'm not interested. I'm only here to try and help people away from crime, drugs and prison and choose a life. You know what I mean? No interest in the past, no interest in anything else, growing or beef or whatever, you know what I mean? I just like to ask questions. I like to know about their experiences through prison and drugs and stuff like that and how they change it in the community. That kind of state and got into a good, a good position. Just like I did, you know what I mean? But what I don't understand is why, 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 why target, why target like people from Newcastle when there's when there's, there's people in Scotland, big crime families in Scotland, you know what I mean? That could be getting exposed. Why, why, why? I, I didn't get this at all. I didn't get it. You know what I mean? But as I say, the Masons in Newcastle is unreal. 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 Aye. Aye. Hundred percent. Hundred percent corrupt. And it's run by the Masons. Not a problem. And even the pubs are all Masons. This and Mason, that and the constable and this and that. But you know what I mean? And they're no shy of waving their Union Jacks and the flags and all that. You know what I mean? And the back gearings and everything. You know what I mean? And that's for a tourist. You know what I mean? Respect, respect of the place. That's the last thing you want to be seen. You know what I mean? Is that because it does say a wee bit of fear. You know what I mean? But don't get me wrong. The people in Newcastle, brilliant, brilliant, fantastic. You know what I mean? Very, very, what like, lovable, welcoming, and good. of white help you. You know what I mean? As because as they say, you know what I mean? Newcastle and Scotland. You know what I mean? There's been this connected. You know what I'm talking about? We've been connected for years. You know what I'm talking about through. What the, what the wars and all that way back in the days, you know what I mean, so that's why I wanted to date eh? but pardon me, I was doing the South Shields and South Shields was bonkers that was even nuts man she even trying to talk to anybody or anything like that man, it was brutal you know what I mean, the, nah, it was like a barrier, you know what I mean but once you got the barrier done, a couple of guys would open up, you know what I mean tell you a wee bit about the area and that eh and show me about the area and show me who's who and what's what and all that kind of stuff and that end but it's all the tip for tap carry on's all about and what it's for you know what I mean and, and it's just like wow man you know what I mean why you know what I mean because it's not to do with that person you know what I mean or it's not to do with that person what the fuck is going on man they're all getting themselves a jail man you know what I mean but I suppose if you put your, your face up there you know what I mean then people will have something to say, you know what I mean, if you're, you're not doing what you're meant to be doing, or you're saying something to the line, or stuff like that, but, you know what I mean, it's just crazy, it's just like, let's say, Randall for a uh, police station um, in Stirling, that is the biggest, one of the biggest corrupt police stations in Scotland, is Randall and easy, and I know that for uh, my days as a criminal, you know what I mean, um, DC Dawson, let's say, head of the drug, drug unit in Glasgow now, you know what I mean, I mean, in the early 90s, he used to set me and my brothers up the car theft. I mean, we'd, we'd maybe get arrested for maybe five car theft and got to fucking court on the Monday. You know what I mean? Maybe 20 or 30. You know what I'm talking about? And you're like, where'd they come from? And I need to clear my books. You know what I mean? And it's like, no, nah, man. You know what I mean? That's, that's corrupt. You know what I'm talking about? And we're only wee boys. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I, 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 I'm going to back my aunt, my, he done it that and just, why no? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, we need to get rid of this corruption. You know what I mean? 
in Scotland, you know what I mean? Because you got Luke Mitchell lying in jail 20 years, you know what I mean? And everybody knows that that boy never done none of that. And, and as I say, you've got the First Minister and his, his brother in law getting caught with heroin and supplied heroin, and two days later gets re arrested for somebody getting tossed out a Monday, you know what I mean? And then that's the people who's run their country. You know what I mean? That's people who's run their country and making their laws and telling us what to do when they're fucking at it themselves. You know what I mean? I do believe Scotland has run the politicians and gangsters. Not a problem. Not a fucking problem. And because see if they weren't there, right? That video I just posted up there in my community post about um Prince Prince the, the advisor the Prince uh, King Charles, right? Well look at that. I mean, well done to the person, the people who, who outed him, you know what I mean? So it just shows you, I mean, this government is corrupt, I mean, and it's called the way up to Scotland, all the way right down to Westminster, and believe me, you know what I mean? There's mere, mere to come out, you know what I mean, about all these seedy crimes and all the, what, as I say, setting people up, putting them in prison for crimes they've never done, as I say, look, Mitchell, 20 years, never done that, man, you know what I mean? You never done that, that was a community, and it was certain people in his community, and the police that set him up, and the papers, you know what I mean, for some of the lies, 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 and as I say, lies sell papers, and and that's what they've done, you know what I mean, um, and it's just sad, you know what I mean, because you'd think, we after the SMP headquarters getting busted, that they'd open an investigation into there, you know what I mean, then you, you, you can't tell me that, um, Yusuf didn't know that his brother-in-law was in the, the involvement of selling Tarsia drugs. Come on, man, eh? You know what I mean? Come on. He's got a fair at one dinner table, or maybe heard his sister talking to go to her. You know what I mean? I don't believe it for one minute. You know what I mean? But, as I say, folks, stay safe and stay blessed. And enjoy my life very soon, okay? And I'll catch up with you maybe post Friday, Friday night, or maybe Saturday morning, okay? Stay safe, and I'll speak very soon.